Anything with a meme they happen at EKB. Shout out to Victoni, the Bomb Bomb crew now. I don't know if Rama is going to be the EKB crew now because a lot of EKB references have been coming up lately. Ah, no. Ah. 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 ah, that's cold. That's a song. That's a record, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, you know why we're here. We know why we're here. We're covering Rema's sophomore album today. Some context into it. Um, we had an entire um, ATCW space session going through our expectations of the album. Um, obviously, we've known Rema to be a very... You know, I mean, unpredictable like figure in the Nigerian pop landscape in a lot of sense. Obviously, coming off the success of Calm Down being one of the biggest songs ever by an African in in the in the global stage. Um, following that with a a run of incredible songs to like, you know, what I mean, to to deluxe the album, and then after that we had Ravage. Okay, an EP that saw him really have a strong and intended shift um, aesthetically and sonically as well. Um, a lot of his, his production choices went darker. A lot of his, his stature has been to be able to brag and send home the point of his dominance, you know. Um, so that's what Ravage was really, really like catered towards. And it, it, it was a very solid EP. And he has built a universe with this sound um, with the help of P-Prime London and a lot of the other producers that were behind it um now that we've seen snippets that, was, that were going off a lot of a lot of hesitation to it because again as polarizing or polarization is the name of the game to be honest and um it's nice that to, to see an artist like Rema that has had some polarizing moments is even leaning more into um his polarizing elements now and um i'm excited Okay, he gave us Raven Roses. I saw a lot more roses than raves. My 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 obvious prediction here, because based on every what everyone is saying, is that he's coming back to to balance it with more rave moments. And I'm excited to get into it. And he is or he is um, Greek for number one apparently. About to set it off, man. Let's go. Track one, match out. Let's hear it. Fuck, bro. I'm sorry, just that intro alone. Let that sink. Let that sink. Let that let let, let that intro sink, I beg. I'm a logo, Baba de me no bobo, no malay at the colo, money food for my banco, no go was so you put it at the zoo. Every day this my mother the shop on. You are wasn't trying from this anger. Since I already coming in, let's go. Bro! <laughs> ah, let's go, Riz up. Nah, make me really so are you mad, bro? Are you seeing the energy of the of the rip? Off the rip. Every day this mama daddy shop. Hey, you are was a giant from the sang. Hey, on the stage and the girls them pass. Hey, bro, imagine this on a live stage. Every day, I didn't okay. soon I be be raised down to the ceiling. Talking my shit, and I don't keep a PG to the room in a good enemy. Jesus man, this man said he's about to raise our BP. <laughs> And that's facts. I need to get into the second verse now. And you man already said he's raising our BP. I am not shaking. Bro. 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 Not the freaking transition. Jesus. Wait, 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 ah, okay, bro, we need to slow down, we have, we have quite a few more songs to go, okay, intro, okay, intro, intro is wild, I've never seen a more authoritative intro for an album in, in a long time, bro, it's, 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 it's already there, it's already there, Macham is one song that obviously from the snippet already had me going, from the freaking hook. I like it. I like where, where this is sitting so far, man. Mm. 
Man said I did five monies like Sina Shazam. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny line. It's some traditional like loop, drum loop that they're doing right now. But it's very, very, it's very, very interesting, like P Prime is doing. <laughs> I forgot the pool. So dramatic. There's so much going on, especially on the production end. All those Nollywood like dun 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 like type of of scenes right there. It's very nostalgic. It's reminding me of like you know when Pisha Sosoko is about to put poison inside. You're just saying those dun 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 dun. Agenda must Is that why you guys are typing agenda must agend? <laughs> anyway, yes, I guess that's Rubama is mentioning it here. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of the 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 Ariwa type um like drum rolls and and dance moves that can go with this one so far, you know. So I, I see I see I see where he's going with this particular bounce. It's unique. It's it's obviously bring, fusing a lot of things that that we don't necessarily see together all into one. It makes sense that he's getting some producer credits here because he feels very hands on on his production lately. So anyway, let's finish this song, man. Let's finish this song. This nigga say, Ronnie, go tell your ACL. He's he lives on the internet, bro. You can see all these internet lines that he's pulling. I mean, it makes sense. He's yeah, he's paying attention. I love all this <laughs> all this Kusman type of of like one liners. You know, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Nasty work, man. Nasty work, man. Nasty, 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 nasty. That's crazy. He sat down with P Prime, of course. One thing you can say about records like this, high intensity, of course, is easy to fall into that trap of thinking this is a lazy effort. It's it's on cheat mode when it comes to the repetition. Everything is so simple and catchy. It's almost like almost every, it's almost like a call to action that you have to sing along to it. They can reflect as if it's simple and everything, but the production is doing the crazy crazy madness. I like where the record is. It's catchy. It's fun again. Um, but I I want to get into the next one. A song that obviously dropped this Monday. Um, and I've heard a lot of thoughts about this one's being it feeling like an interlude into the album. But let's go. This was one of the first snippets that really shook um, the airwaves that, okay, Lorema is changing or doing something different. This is ha ha ha, the classic ha ha ha, he he he, H E H E, for those on ATT dub. Monday morning talking about me while I'm making money. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it easy on my head that the club will be entered. We know the chef for the figures. Anybody is it just me or the tempo is a little slower than I, I thought this song was going to be? It feels like it, it needs to be faster than it is. But it, it, it seems slow down for some reason. A couple of other resemble the politician. They say I live like a frosta. <laughs> we know the show one for Insta. <laughs> Scatter the club will be entered. Never even you say all of my power. Never even. I remember the first time I heard the snippet. I was thinking of that. Um, Yekpa, Yekpa, he. <laughs> he came back to Nas Boy. <laughs> that Nas Boy, um, that Nas Boy song with, with um, Wandeko. I've heard the snippet. Been there, done that with a snippet. On the on the on the full fledged song here, I don't even know if it has gone past the threshold of the snippet so far. Um, so it's still like it feels slower. It feels like the energy is a little bit sucked out out of this for some weird reason. That's that that's when he said the big four line. That everybody's talking about they're gonna say big three in, in, into big four. I don't I don't even like that Rema is placing himself in the big three, big four conversation because big three conversations are generational. It doesn't make sense seeing him being like compared or being placed with a whiskey and and David and Bernard. Those those guys have like 
decades on him. So <laughs> almost a decade on him. So it's not even seven fair. Like if he wants to bring, yeah, they have to start a new fresh slate of big three conversations. It's probably him, Ashake, and Fireboy, and a few others in the running. Oh, Omale, rather. I mean, it's up there. Um, yeah, I think that's that's where you can have that conversation. But as to squeezing it into a big four one, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not subscribed to that big four um, conversation right now because it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel like it's generationally accurate, you know? They go say I don't deserve it, but that is an insult. Drop one banger and go stuff. <laughs> Drop one banger and go stuff. That's what he does. Not gonna take it easy, you're my hater. Not gonna take it easy, you're my hater. Hip, not gonna, not gonna. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um okay. First first things first. I didn't get the interlude point on this one. I didn't get the maybe he did some changes. Did he do any changes to this? It feels like a very structured song. It feels like there's a hook, there's a verse, there's a few like probably refrains and everything and then there's the chorus again to see us out. It seems like a structured song. So I'm not sure if I I'm subscribing to the it feels like an interlude thing. If anything, if it had gone any longer, I probably would not like it because of that ha 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 and how like mind numbing it can feel. Uh, it's a song that I don't necessarily see as much consistency with the intense nature of the other songs as as much. And it's weird because this was one of the songs that really, really picked up the intensity, the excitement, gave you a good glimpse of what the soundscape was. And I think it's a good depiction of of the soundscape it just feels it just feels rather tame i don't know maybe it's because i've heard it before it just feels rather maybe they slow down the bpm or something i don't know man i probably need to like compare the bpm of the other one on 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 the internet versus versus what is here right now but regardless uh it's a cool record it feels complete but it's not necessarily one of the songs that is is following up the intensity of the first two tracks but let's get into the next one man yeah yo Okay. A little, a little shake on that flow. You can hear it with the crowd vocals too. And even the production kind of even when say you're hearing violins in the back, um, it's giving that yeah, it's, it's very much a, a, a Mr. Money type of atmosphere. But I'm here for it though. I'm here for it though. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. If there was ever a Rema and Ashake song, I feel like this is a perfect like this is a perfect song for that collab or that like link up it makes sense it makes a lot of sense it, so it sounds amazing it sounds like a fire hook and a sing-alongable type moment a lot of these songs have structure to them just the production that really elevates and and makes it feel feel a lot more chaotic than it is but it's a clear clean structure so far with these songs man let's go I get too many to get he's going he's going Bro, this is soft though. Like it's a lot softer than I thought. You know what I mean? It's a lot soft. This these records are soft, man. Like soft, but not like it's in a it's in a bad thing. It is soft in the sense that I had a lot, I had a lot more darker like image in my head. Like coming from Ravage, of course. Like coming from Ravage, hearing how like the atmosphere was different. I'm getting this is a lot tamer than I anticipated, to be honest. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just literally, like, actually surprised that it's, I'm getting something that feels softer than I imagined it to be. But let's go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is a piano record. Even the flow on the verses too. You can hear it. We must say it's a bomb, bro. Rama, pass it like you, ah. Ah. Yo, 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 yo. Again. 
tamer and a lot more. I, I hear a lot of things, a lot of things that that make it seem like this was overcooked. That was a lot of fear mongering, man. This is a lot like receptive to today's soundscape than I thought. The audacity is not as it's not as vivid. It's not reaching like uncharted territories. Like it's not trying to really, really like bring something that it's ultra new like it's not it's not anything new per se and i'm surprised that that's what i'm taking out of it from the first spin especially with the four tracks that we've gotten especially the song yeah yo i see it being a very very like tailored song for a commercial like ear like it's very much co like tailored for a commercial ear like it's not coming here being like fuck it fuck every rule there is about music and pop music and what people can gravitate to like he's 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 abiding by some rules here, is what I'm saying. He's abiding by some rules. Um, let's get into the next song. Binny Boys. Okay, we are familiar with Binny Boys. Binny Boys is playing this role, man. It is a song. Club, club tailored, of course. Uh, but let's spin it real quick before we get into the next one. Shout to my many people, man. Listen, 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 listen. I tweeted something about this song, and I'll still stand on it till today. Charlie Poppy has not done a lot of features, like guest appearances. He has done a few. There's a, there's a handful of Charlie Poppy verses that are out there, if you want to find out. Um, I think when it comes to, I mean, it's not even fair to even compare this feature to other songs. But when it comes to really understanding what makes Charlie Poppy like, move people, what, what is the essence of Charlie Poppy's sound, like it, it comes in the simple things it comes in the catchiness it comes in the in the like just the little ad libs say, 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 um, wahala, this you know what i mean it's just the energy that he can be able to i see him like freaking the migos like when it comes to that ad lib energy when it comes to like young thug as well like i see charlie Poppy in that kind of arrangements when it comes to his records this is a charlie poppy record and it makes sense having him on here and allowing him flourish allowing him to have fun with the song there's a there's a there's an energy to it man anyway man all right man let's get into the next track he is the title track every song starts like this man oh yeah I remember this one too. Uh, 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 Prince. This man said, I be the Simba, man. Prince of Afrobeats, let them know. Bro, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with this album. Kill a fessor. Nah, those drum rolls, uh, those lock drum rolls right here, that was nuts. Hey! Bro, the audacity, oh, no, 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 no. He's really creating a moment to like stamp his yeah even though yes the theme is not creative like it's not it's not dynamic rather than not creative the theme is i am him i am here i am the number one don't doubt me i am coming for whoever you're putting in front of me whatever obstacle is in front of me i am clearing road i don't know if it's a sample or actually got some singles on top of that um it's very possible we got a sample but it sounded amazing um yeah i'm really even curious what they're even saying or what like what what it what it translates to but regardless man i'm yeah i'm enjoying this like this particular record again it's still sending the same message the same theme is still consistent okay so i found transition it says who is the illest who is the baddest damn okay who is the illest who is the baddest it is you uh-uh who is uplifting who is hot it is you that's cold that's cold that's a cold transition it says whose globe who's globe trotting who's the shit 
It is you. There's no way this is real. There's no way this is real. That's too hard of a translation, bro. I love it. I absolutely love that record. Let's get into the next one, man. Oziba. Oziba apparently um in Edo translates to trouble or troublemaker. So it's interesting, it's being consistent with that one. Um uh, from the Ravage uh, EP. I'm excited about this one. Let's see how it goes. Ah no 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 it's gonna get the streets crazy on this one. Bro, when is it gonna take a break on this album, man? Everything is just punch after punch after punch. Like, okay, now I'm getting some strong intensity. This BPM is nuts. All of my guys on the gym, it's me, everybody, and you, man. Who be that girl with the shake and keep it for bag me and want to die like that? Whether they keep it in a real or fake, I bet just see back on. Come, how you go send me money, then I spread the money, then you can't take back on. You know, this is in a balance, you got the rock, I bet no day, my job. You will be. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, this, this is. I don't know if he's being like comical here. Um, even from his delivery, it sounds like he doesn't want to be taken serious. Like he's being playful, clearly. <laughs> oh god, it says who be that girl with the shake I gave me for back. Uh, it said don't step on my Balenciaga, man. <laughs> I go prove to them, say somebody bad eh? Somebody wicked eh? I go do my best to make colorful now, vet. Look on multiple my set, I don't intercept. Take a put to get for recession. You want get get put a bit jump face? Eh? Okay, I see what he's doing now. It's the same match um structure here, and ah, bro, it's supposed to get you crazy, like. It's supposed to get you going. Like, the energy on this is crazy. Like, I hear it's a very street focused type of record. The tempo is insane. He has that matcham energy, man. And the hook, again, simple. There's actually, like, he's intended to make the song sing alongable as much as they can be. <laughs> This is exactly what Cardi would sound like on a record like this. Exactly how like yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I get this energy right here. This is how it to in like this is how it translates to an Afrobeat context. Like this this is the only way it can translate, man. That I'm thinking about it, man. Let's go, let's go. Shout out to Victoria the Bum Bum Crew now. I don't know if Rema is going to be the KB crew now because a lot of KB references have been coming up lately. Ah, no! Bro, give this to the streets, man. Street DJs. Give this one to the street DJs, bro. Ah, I can already see the TikTok compilation videos. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. The energy is 1,000 on that one. Crazy, intense level of production there. Log drum heavy. Still connected to the street wave right now that we're seeing. It has a very similar structure to Macham, which is becoming like a strong theme of, of him just having that punchy, repetitive hook, you know? And that's what Zibai is doing. It's, it's really like, you know, he just wants you to go. That's what I got from that Macham snippet. I just want to go. Like, whatever it is I'm doing, like maybe let it be leg day let's just me like falling or going to the I, I don't know man just going anywhere just doing anything i really want to get like and it just gets your energy up and I, that's why i i can translate to this album's like entire experience so far um let's get into the next one man this one has Odomodu black another a rapper that has has had a good show out in the in the last year um when i'm very busy with his features this is probably like his his 50th feature or so. I want to see how Rema will make use of an Odomodu like feature. Um, yeah, let's see how he does it. Let's see how it, they go back and forth. I don't know if this might be a rap moment or it might just be another like Bedu Bedu high intense moment. Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm excited about this one, man. What machine? Okay, this is the one with the soul sample. Bro, that was a cold sample in the beginning. Another you be that in I don't come again with another one, no shit. Wala, I like you wala. She be you never my trouble, she you like you wala. Who be you? I don't come here, me, I'm on a Drive them crazy like a book of Always come first, I'm an enabu. Give them Oh 
my god. Oh, okay, okay. I, I didn't understand that intro. I didn't have a good grip of it, but it's definitely something different about it. It started off with a dope soul sample that I was, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm about to get like one J. Cole type like bar off moment, which would be funny. <laughs> which would be funny to see because hey, they're both rappers technically, you know. Um but um we see a transition into again the consistent theme of the production here and what ties all the production right now has been the dark sense like very very intentional about that and we're seeing that be the the transition there and we're seeing a very same type of delivery we've seen but it's evolving and it's building up um it's getting braggadocious but it's very very like it, it is very shaky on the delivery i'm not gonna lie i'm not necessarily all the way in on this delivery on the first pin, but this transition into Odomodu is cold. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Look at my elimination. And any focus on their blood, I am not done. Them no gain a Panama life, them are feed on. Remedy tip is all you push, they give up. We are talking like he called. Palo tell you why, always me as Goddish Anga with Yanga, your papa. Pull up, Palo, can you? You're not gone like I'm paranoid. From Lagos, I fire every shilly noise. Shiggy boy, I go pull up in expensive boy. I go now, boy. Okala, man, okala, more. Who did, who did, who be you? I know, go me, I'm a man, I'm a man. I mean. Uh, <laughs> I like I, I get the energy that he's coming with again very much in the Odomodu verse but like headspace but I didn't get too much out of this particular verse um I think it's just it serves as a good dyna dynamic punch for for the entire like album to be honest because we we don't have that many features on here so we'll get a feature anytime we can Odomodu definitely doing his thing in in this style like of course there were some parts of the verse too that you can hear him trying to squeeze some syllables in there um that obviously made didn't make it sound as neat as it should be on the on the bounce but regardless he's coming there with the persona and that's really what he's there for um but yeah he's shining the persona loud and clear man anyway let's go let's go let's finish it Again, so consistent on the production. Shout out to producers. I think I think that's a much more um I think that's much more of the redeeming factor of that song. The production is fairly consistent with where we have where we are right now. And I think it's Lon it's London actually and Alex Lustig on this particular one as opposed to P Prime. So again, still building into the universe of the entire album, the Ravage universe. We're still there, we're still in that in that vein. Um, I don't think I got too much out of this song when it came to the content. Like, yeah, it was just basically saying that you depend them. Like, it, it just felt like a lot of empty punches. Like, even from Mudumudu, the rapper here that was supposed to give us punch after punch after punch. Um, yeah, there's still a strong and definitive hook that is clear. I think that's, again, that's another consistent point that we're seeing in the structure of these songs. They're simple. It's not hard to read, per se. You know where the chorus is, like you're in, in as chaotic as cinematic as it is. You can still see what the structure of the song feels like. Um, it's just the content-wise, I'm not getting too much out of this one um, for a song that I was kind of expecting a lot more um, when it came to like just giving me either one-liners, maybe a funny line here and there, or something like that. I didn't get too much out of it. Um, so far, my least favorite. Okay, um, on the album. Yeah, you guys, yeah, it's the least voted song so far um, on the on the poll as well. Anyway, let's get into the next one. Egugu. Egugu, be careful. Nah, that's best you. There you go. Anyway, man, let's hear this one. Another scary masquerade type of aesthetic that we're getting from this one. Let's go, man. Ooh. Okay, now, these, this, is more, this is the most cardiac beat I've heard so far. Yeah, this is already sounding like a Kekati song with the sense already. Another banger. 
Okay, now let's be honest. In terms of the transition, in terms of the track listing, the sequencing of the album, when it comes to um, curating the entire experience and flow right now, at this point in the album, it's a little exhausted. Like it's very much exhausted. The the, the high intensity energy at this point, at this point in the project, especially after um, War Machine, that kind of teased us into a slower tempo. I would have wanted this to be the point where you're shifting the. You're shifting the mood a little bit. Um, but there's no mood shift. It doesn't look like there's going to be a mood shift. It's 11 tracks. We're already at track 9. The mood shift is not coming. I don't think we're getting one. It would have made sense from War Machine down to like make some moments there to change something. And to be honest, just from an energy standpoint, this feels exhausting. This song right now, it's not going to be well received after going through very like 7 tracks, like high intense energy. Getting to this point, yeah, yeah. Most people, most listeners will be tapped. I'm tapped out. You no, know I mean I'm tapped out from that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're very much. We've been there. The energy is like, okay, like let's let's change the setting a little bit. And I don't think we're gonna get that. It's trying to go for a cohesive album, a cohesive universe. I see it, but in some moments you need some dynamics, like sequencing. I have a play into your. Your structure there so yeah that'll be my point on this particular egungu record okay but let's finish it out let's finish it out i know the bed for me but no see my lungs in the wild half of you baby got it many heart is just a remote no my level who when i know me he want a boy go go this is a worthy ass chorus too i'm not going here moko to look at you can't catch me sleeping in a gungu but if i can i go california but could make me so 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 too much overcooked overcooked we've heard that exact line before bro <laughs> we've heard that exact line before yeah this is already the worst song we didn't need the song is that London and and Alex Lustig run? Yeah, man. I I could go on a list of why that's my least favorite so far. Um, obviously the sequencing, the positioning for the song, terrible to have that kind of tone at this point again. Two, you're hearing very very surface level lines that we've heard already. Like it can be shaky or yash and stuff. We've already heard the song, we've already heard this particular run on Ozemba. Like it was it was energy. Like two songs ago we heard this line and the same like kind of rhetoric. So it feels exhausted. Um three, the structure is is out of whack too, because you're having a very lengthy and wordy chorus. Like Egugu is there to catch on and have that moment, but it's too much. Like it's just doing it's it's an overkill. It's an overdrive of of having that energy type of thing. And lastly, the production feels rather like an imitation of what we've heard already, as opposed to like really connecting into that sound space. Like it just feels like like it's a lazier in, imitation of it in terms of production. Not as dramatic, not as cinematic, but like still doing the twerk as still like playing in that in that universe. But it, it's not it's not bringing anything like of a identify it to say oh this is a unique point in the album the production is still very much it's just a bad imitation of what we heard i would scrap this record um i would scrap this record immediately it didn't need it the album didn't need it it's very redundant it's it's not it's not shaped it's not shake, it's shaking anything production would have probably made up for it being here but it, it didn't you know what i mean so it's there's no reason why this should be here uh but let's get into the next one uh villain let's go Bro, this should have made this have made sense after all my shoes. Shanawa less and show pets on my official more. You know that any facility way and down when another jump here no more. Okay, different bounce, different bounce. I'm getting something. I did give a reminder, it will have stuff and the combo dog. He's he's in here, he's very, very like his his vocals are inflected, like he's sinking from his head, like let's go. I know this and anybody.
<laughs> That's funny. He said, Elumelu, where I can put my money to double or failingly. I like that line because Elumelu is like, he owns a bank. So he's like, bro, where can I invest my money <laughs> so that I can double? I like it. I like this so far, man. Let's go. I like that. Huh? Huh? Bro, where's that base? Ah! 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 No, 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 we're running it back. We're running it back. That's a hook. Bro, 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 that's a hook. Are you hearing the, are you hearing the, the kicks and the back of that hook right there? Bro, it's, it reminds me of the kicks on M. Nike, um, Tyler, I see you. But like, I don't know, it reminds me of, it reminds me of, 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 the, of those kicks. But my goodness, I love those kicks right now. The energy on this hook, he's singing too. His delivery on this is very like, very passion filled, you know. And yeah, man, this one is working. This one is working. Happy awesome. Yeah. Yeah, my I Ah! 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 That's cold. That's a song. That's a record, bro. Oh, that's a record. That's a fucking record right there, bro. P Prime. Ah! They're no body at that G. You can know if we pass P Prime. You know if we pass P Prime. Ah! That's world class. I'm sorry, that's world class. That was a moment right there. That was a moment. Rema P Prime Energy. Let's go. That song hyped me up, bro. That record hyped me up. P Prime, his insane, insane level of detailing on the kicks. Understand that this, this kicks were having some bass infused into it too. That was like, ah, no. And then we see Rema channeling that in ways, inflections. Da, 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 ah. That was insane level of impressive right there. Like, I, we cannot touch that song. Like, let's, let's understand what we just experienced, man. I know some of you have heard this song. A, a lot earlier than I did, but my goodness, villain, villain, that's that's a record. That's upper echelon production delivery, like master class, master class, bro, master class. This man is big guy. Say money too big, like like T Prime, man. Like come on. But P Prime is is insane. P Prime is again. I'm going to emphasize it. Going down as a legendary producer. He's going down as a legendary producer in this landscape, bro. And it's beautiful to see a very progressive and forward-thinking artist like Rema, like, you know what I mean, in the trenches with him, putting together a beat, or putting together a moment like this. Crazy. Villain is a, is a perfect record, man. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm already there. Like, if the, if the album ended on that note, I'm there. <laughs> let's, let's get into the last one. Now I know. Let's see how he's ending the album, bro. Let's go. Okay. Okay, all right. A much more sentimental moment in the album. This obviously pales in comparison to every high intense moment that we've gotten throughout the entire album. It's a nice way to see us out. I think it's a nice shift of energy. Obviously, you can hear the rhetoric of this one saying that um, I don't necessarily blast out and say everything that I'm doing for those in the back. Um, but if I do 99, um, they'll also complain about the one that is still yet to do. So. We've heard this rhetoric a lot, but obviously, like, it, it makes sense, okay? Superstar, lifestyle, 
you are expected to build have a lot of people. You know, I know how they call it the black tax. You're supposed to be helping a lot of people around you with this immense wealth that you have. Obviously, you're going to bless others around you, but it's never enough. Essentially, is what Rema is expressing here. Um, everything I do is never enough. So I can see him connecting this one to enemies right now. So it, it can feel like that particular song. But I love this delivery here. I love this tone. I love the change of tone here. Um, very much um, singing. Like this is the most like singing we've ever gotten. A lot of this has been energetic, like rap deliveries that we were hearing. But a lot of singing like notes on this one. Um, so it's nice. It's a nice record so far. Let's finish it up. My goods. Thank you for addressing that stupid nonsense. Thank you, Rema, for addressing that nonsense, bro. Bro, that shit must have been discouraging, like depressing for any like young kid that just wants to be creative with his art shit and like everything is just saying that you're, you're worshiping devil people are coming up with think pieces seen on the on the on, on upside down cross and and do you know that nonsense stuff yeah like it's it's nice to see that I'm, that he kind of like is is punching at that point let's finish it up let's finish it up real <laughs> Hey, is I don't know which one you say it, but he is, it is what it is. He is who he says he is, you know. Um, my goodness, that was it. That was the album. We did it. We made it through. I have to check uh, <laughs> how much calories we lost um, on this one, but my goodness, that was that was a that was an experience. Okay, that was an experience. Um. <laughs> It's his, I mean, okay, yes, yeah, his. Um, that was an experience, of course. Um, Rema, sophomore album. A lot going into this. There was some stakes going into this, obviously, coming off the, the back of a calm down, okay? Um, a record like that, um, insane levels of, of a bar that has been set. And I think it was one of those records that we shouldn't be holding him at that bar again. Like, it, it wouldn't be fair because... Those are once in a lifetime type records. Um, but anyway, um, there's a lot going into this album. He had already created a Sonic universe thanks to the Ravage EP. And we got some snippets. We got some glimpse into what this album was going to sound like. I expected it to be dark. I expected it to be energetic and intense, um, which it was in a lot of ways, which it was. Um, but yeah, off the bat, Macham kicking off with crazy intense energy like we're not even taking any breather nothing to ramp you up in there it's off the rip like streets banger punch after punch after punch i did my job i did my job i did my job like my goodness it was like okay this is like at the beginning this is the first 100 meters of this marathon let's let's face ourselves but at the same time let's go harm uh, you know, so it was crazy of a moment that we had with Macham, so connecting to the streets in a lot of ways. And that was the consistent theme, I would say, in a lot of the records, a lot of the structure, the pigeon to the language. You know what I mean? It was very, very streets like influenced. Um, and that was that's been Rema's headspace, even though it's been it's been regarded as one of the premium brands in Nigerian music landscape right now. Um, Balenci, I got this, you know, Gucci that, you know what I mean, fresh, fresh young nigga type energy. He's still very much like, at the same time, he can still be street and be fresh, you know, like he can still be that. And that's what he's trying, those are the words he's trying to put together on this album. And I think he did a good job in relating with the streets in a lot of ways, um, even though from a place of, of, of dominance already. I mean, we can see another street anthem like... Like Benin Boys, we have already seen with Charlie Poppy tapping into that energy that Charlie Poppy has been able to capture the entire mainstream with the, with throughout 2023. And Rema is tapping into that. And to be honest, one of the best uses of a Charlie Poppy verse I've heard since she has become a thing. Um, so yeah, that was a very, very neat record. It might be abrupt for some so listeners, some people that are not naturally tapped into Charlie Poppy or big fans of Charlie Poppy. I'm, 
it, I'm a case by case um, fan of, of Charlie Poppy. It, it works in many points when he is is a lot more organic and it's it's fitting into his soundscape. And I think this particular record was was one of those. He had your ex written all over it, that type of energy, and it makes sense. It made sense um, on this particular um, album, and it, it fits nicely into the into the project, even though it worked as a single already. And we got we got a good attempt of songs that I feel, even though a fear that was going into this album was how is it going to balance the artistic ventures of this dark energy, this dark sense, the the very very dramatic cinematic arrangements of production. And shout out to P Prime, it's very artistic, it's very creative, very cinematic, but it's not something we're used to on a nigerian landscape like nigerian pop landscape so the big question going into this album was how much is it going to balance that with what works in nigerian context and to be honest there were some rather tame moments that felt intentionally tamed in order to like play and and try and operate in the nigerian markets i see a song like yeyo doing just that it's not necessarily as cinematic or as as create as chaotic as the other songs in order to fit into the mainstream soundscape very very ashake coded from the delivery from the production arrangement so i think yeyo is the best punch that you, you might have or it's best attempt that you might have right now in into the nigerian apple music top 100 type of of aesthetic i think that song fits that that the profile of that song fits where, where everything else is right now very crass but still like palatable um so i think it works for yeyo it's a very energetic song he's very infectious it's a very very high point in the record and i enjoy that song a lot um yeah so that, i think that song would would serve as a good attempt if, i think it might be the best attempt outside of Benin boys on this album in order to to com com compare or to 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 play into that market the songs like um a a his or his the the one that has the abisha the swahili hook i think that's a brilliant song um for the habisha vocals that translates from swahili to to a very very hard and cold like authoritative message here of i am the guy who is the coldest who is the baddest it is you it is you that's a cold like translation from from a language that is not really used to but it makes it work so well on the structure of the song it's a very very good hook of the song and it's danceable you can definitely see some of the traditional eastern like dance moves that can go with that and i i'm anticipating how he's going to market this song into the east african market because it works it makes sense so it had those kind of like bounces that works and there was some other um arewa type moment that we could see from from azaman as a man track two was a song that obviously had that similar drum patterns with with his um very very like northern nigeria you can hear a lot of that kind of beat pattern somebody was even saying zaki influence or or something in that in, in the chat so i can definitely see that as a man has that energy too he's bigging up all the the big dignitaries and also bigging up himself so i love as a man too for that it can actually serve as a good attempt too for a commercial record but i think overall um, the album was a very, very fun experience. I, I definitely got waves of, of of the same intense nature that we've seen from Ravage poured into this. Um, but there were some weak moments that were a little bit... I don't know, Rema, I don't know about this record. The delivery is kind of awkward. You know, it's rather redundant. Um, and that would be One Machine and Egungun for me. One Machine was a bit of a letdown. Um, expecting, I don't know if I was expecting too much, but I was expecting a lot more of of a substance a, a lot more of a dynamic moment with odumodu black in the nature i saw him playful with charlie poppy i was expecting him to be a lot more playful with odumodu black but these are two different artists but at the same time there's some form of energy that they both come with right now that is very unique and i don't think um odumodu necessarily had the best of positionings on the song um he did have a very noteworthy verse it was Pretty, pretty forgettable of a of the modal verse. Usually, we're hearing dagger this, dagger that, or something that is very, very obnoxious that catches your. You know, I mean, some shock value, but I didn't get much shock value on this record. I like the dramatic production elements, though. Um, 
and it served as a unique point for the for for the intro especially we're hearing some soul samples on the intro of that war machine song I, I love how dramatic that was but other than that that's the only redeeming quality on that song um it's a kind of a lazy hook to the hmm, hmm thing they didn't necessarily connect with me so i'll say war machine is one of my least favorites and follow right after that with the war song on this album that literally didn't need to be here it it, it it wasn't necessary okay Egungu wasn't necessary here and I it, it wasn't presenting anything new we're hearing similar lines that we've already heard on other songs like Ozzy Bar like it didn't make it didn't it didn't present anything refreshing for the album and at this point in the album sequence the energy was already exhausted like nobody was going to be receptive to this song especially where it was placed so it didn't make sense okay and then we got to one of my favorite songs, Villain. Um, I absolutely love this song for so many reasons. This is one of the better records I've seen Rema and P Prime sit down and put together. Um, I think it's a very, very audacious um, production moment. And at least from a delivery standpoint, he went in, he went crazy. A lot of the opener of the songs was a lot of his head voice in the, in the beginning part of the song. And then we saw him really, really like allow for the production to really drive and and feel like feel like he was he was locked in with the production because how how the bass kicks were working on the hook was insane and it was interacting with that bass it was so it was so good that's a song that i haven't had to replay multiple times i'm i'm definitely definitely coming back to that song more than any other thing on this particular uh tape but yeah man that was that was a class, master class moment from p prime and rema himself for villain easily my favorite song on this album i'm walking away with that one as my number one favorite and then we got a song that saw us out now i know it's a nice record obviously it pales in comparison it's a tamer song it's a lot more singing here it's a lot more retrospective like introspective song rema is reflecting on a lot of the hardships on i guess hard not necessarily hardships but the, the the things that come with this sort of lifestyle where he's helping people but at the same time um people people are not being grateful for the help that he gives or he sees a lot of people turn on him from being friends into foes so it's a lot of the rhetoric that you hear a lot of superstars kind of connect to but i love the delivery on this one it's a lot of, a lot more sober for the album and it's a nice way to see us out to be honest it's a nice way to see us out overall it's a decent album um definitely definitely noteworthy of an album it's gonna shape it's gonna shake a lot of things in the landscape because there's no album that has or, or like or, or audacious as this in terms of the production in terms of the intensity there's a lot of risks that are going that is going into an album like this and i and i hope that he gets rewarded for it i really hope he gets rewarded for it it's not the most like it's not the most crass and loose um, deliveries and approach to this kind of thing because there was a lot of structure and that's one thing I took away from this album there still was a lot of structure with how dark and how like intense the music felt there was still a lot of structure to it you can hear a lot of the hooks like very very tailored hooks the production was transitioning with the hooks so it was a lot of hands on like detailing when it came to the production and Rema's songwriting and delivery on these songs so I think it's a very very organized chaos in a lot of ways as opposed to people feeling like like it's a very lazy and and loose crass approach to this to this style of music that he's introducing i think he approached this music with a lot of um just with a lot of, with a lot of like like tact to it and, and and shout out to p prime i think p prime was the better of of the executive producer here if that makes sense um there were some moments like um Egungu, um and what other song again that i could feel like it was it felt like an impression of of what was already established, but not necessarily the the main thing. War Machine and Egungo, I would say those two songs, they felt like imitations of that universe. But regardless, um, I think the the approach was still nice. In my first listen, in my first approach for it, this was a whirlwind of a of a moment. I'm giving it a strong seven point five to an eight. Okay, at this point, that's where I'm feeling with this particular album. Yeah, there were two songs that kind of dipped my momentum that, that didn't help with the sequencing and didn't present anything new. Obviously, the fact that the subject matter wasn't crazy. There was not much misdirection or, or not a lot of like depth to other attributes. Yes, we got some, 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 some conversations from now I know, but it took so long in order to get those level of, of conversations. The album is unapologetically 
energy driven like it's, it's supposed to be intense so i really understand that and it's and it makes for a complete body of of work which i give a, a lot of credit it doesn't feel like random songs they all feel like they were produced around the same headspace they all feel like they were around the same like studio session so it felt like an intended album there's a lot of in, 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 intentionality around it which you don't see quite often a lot of people combine songs that they've recorded in different studios different producers different like head spaces but this one feels a lot more cohesive and intended for this album so i give him a lot of credit for that okay his is a very very strong effort to follow up um a a phenomenal run like raven roses so let's say how this one ages i think it's going to age beautifully i think it's going to age gracefully for him um I, i'm expecting it to get better for my rating from 7.5 to 8 right now um so i think yeah i think upwards might be it might be at 8.5 or a 9 but I think regardless of how crass it can be, it can feel in some moments, this is a nice record to... So, I mean, Afro Leg Walk, Afro um, Afro Gym Day, Afro Leg Day, this one is there for you, you know? So, I'm curious how you guys feel about this particular record. This is my first listen, okay? So, if there's anything or if there's any shift in momentum for these songs for me, I definitely would love to come back and and, and renew my stance on it because hey, this is this is this is mu music ages it's it's forever it's a forever a living entity on its own as as time goes by so we will we, we'll come back we'll have these conversations about this record but i'm excited about how everyone um feels and 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 reflects on this album on their first spin i seen a 6.7 okay i see an 8 as well Okay, I see a 10 out of 10. A Google does not exist for me, LOL. <laughs> so you just grab the Google. I see a nine, okay. I see a seven, I see a seven. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. W album, W stream, thank you so much. Subscribe to Patreon if you want to see this playback without any skips, without any edits. Appreciate everyone on Patreon. Really, really making my dreams come true. I am excited about what a lot of the the investments that you guys are pouring into my platform um it's going to be coming back into the platform in a very very exciting way so stay locked in okay stay locked in with me i got some exciting things coming up i'm um, that i really 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 want to put out so i'm looking forward to it and i uh, appreciate everyone on patreon for making that possible it's not possible without you guys and everyone that subscribed here on twitch keys man um everyone shout out to you guys man for locking in appreciate you guys have a good night we out.